Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. So how are you doing, my darling Libras? This is a general reading, so not all the messages here are going to make sense to you, but if it does, just claim it. On the other hand, if these messages confuse you, I want you to find out where your other sign placements are. Your moon, your Venus, your ascendant, your north node, your Mars. And go and check all those readings on my channel. If you do not know where these placements are, Google free birth chart calculator. Put in all your birth details and allow Google to calculate your chart for you. Go and check all those readings. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Libra, there will be additional messages there for you. Now, I'm going to start by just taking a few cards from my nature's whispers um these are oracle cards and i'm going to just see what this reading could be about before i take my tarot okay my god libras my goodness they just fell i had to do nothing okay make a decision libras some of you could be stuck in that energy of not knowing what to do perhaps two of swords Perhaps a hanging man, if we're dealing with a Pisces, make a decision, Libras. Yeah. Keep your dreams alive. Are some of you doubting that you may not be able to fulfill what you have uh, set out to do, Libras? Uh, keep your dreams alive. The universe is supporting you. You know, this make a decision, keep your dreams alive. I think there's some big fear here which is going on you're not able to move forward because there is fear you're vibrating from fear the universe is asking you to keep your dreams alive and the third card which flew out is assurance my goodness libras you need to make a decision you need to make a decision keep your dreams alive and the universe is assuring you that it's going to succeed i want to give you another message the minute you make a decision to keep your dreams alive, the universe is going to come in with this assurance, which is a, uh, you know, a fixed happy outcome for you. As you can see, this is a tree and this tree is growing and it's rooted. If there's some money things that you are thinking about making a decision, do it, please. And keep your dreams alive. The universe supports your dreams. Now, I'm going to keep these three cards here just for reference. And I'm going to go ahead, oh, I'm going to drop my cup, and take my Gilded Tarot, where are my cards, and I am going to give you some additional messages. Of course, this is your reading, but I can see those three cards telling me that there's some indecision going on here. It's about a dream. Keep your dreams alive, Libra. Keep your dreams alive. Please, please pay attention to this message. Now, feel free to reverse the roles, apply this to you or to the person or the situation you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Okay, my justice loving Libras, let's go. Libras, how's everyone doing? How are you, my darling Libras? Please give me some messages for my Libras. My Libras. My Libras. Okay. You know, your cards are sticking a bit. A bit. Just put these cards here. What beautiful energy, Libras. What beautiful energy. Libras. Okay. Okay. Just ask for one. There we go. Uh, all right. Okay. We have a lot of major arcanas, Libras. A lot, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with this card first, which is the Empress. Now, the Empress, ah, Venus and Taurus, right? Look at this card. Look at her. For me, this is a card of somebody who can just create. I mean, there is no problem there. There is no problem in her manifesting whatever she wants in the 3D. Libra, if this is your energy, it's freaking awesome. This is Venus and Taurus. So somebody who's very patient and motherly, she's got the Midas touch. You know, when this card comes 
when this card came before, keep your dreams alive. You are showing up as somebody who has the power to create your dreams in the 3D. And Taurus, okay, and Venus and Taurus is all about things we can touch, eat, build. It's, it's about things that we love. It's what we've come to enjoy on this dimension. And the universe is requesting you to keep your dreams alive because it's worth it. And you're showing up as an empress. And this could be some, I could be talking to an older divine feminine here. This is somebody who's sensual, who is so comfortable with, her, with herself. You know, she can be a mom, she can be a wife, she can be a great lover, she can be a businesswoman. You put her in the avatar and she's going to rock it and kill it. If you're showing up like this, fantastic, fantastic. Now, I wonder if you have a child. Now, pages are always messengers, but because the, the empress energy is, you know, very motherly, I don't know if I'm talking to a mother and her baby. Just putting it out there. This is a page of cups. You know, cups are your emotions and pages are always messengers. Messengers. This could be a small offer of uh, love, an immature love. This could be a crush. This is Pisces, huh? This could be an immature offer of love. This could be a sudden, unexpected message that is coming towards. This could be somebody who's crushing on you. You know, when, when Pisces comes into play and this card, um, when I told you, Make a decision. Remember, I said, I think there is Pisces energy or the hanging man. Okay. And when this card comes out here, this is somebody who's got their head in the clouds. Idealistic. Are you having some idealistic thoughts about a dream that you're trying to manifest as the empress? I don't know. I don't know. Something that you're trying to manifest and you, you know, you have the power, but I think you've lost the faith. And this could be a quick, unexpected message that is coming your way. This could be an apology. This could also be gossip. Um, this could be an immature love offer. This could be a crush. Somebody could be crushing on you. Now, there's also a bringer of happy news and, you know, important information. Now, if this is a child, this is somebody who's very sweet. If you're a mama and you have your baby who is showing up as a little page of cups. This is somebody who's a dreamer, who's sweet, who's sensitive. Okay. Comment below. Let me know, Libras, what is going on with you. Okay. Now, now, there has been some kind of a holding back. Who is holding back here? Are you holding back or somebody you're dealing with is holding back? Because see, this card for me is a card of miser. Of being a miser and pentacles are your money. It's it's earth energy. It's about the things that keep you grounded. Like I said, it's what puts food on the table, the money you earn. Who has been a miser? There's somebody who's been hoarding or has been saving money, keeping all that money and the good fortune to themselves. Are you in, are, you know when this card came out? Keep your dreams alive. First card that came out. Are you somebody who has this huge dream? Are you dreaming of creating something in the 3D as an empress? You have a child and you've been saving money. So somebody who's hiding money, huh? holding on to something or someone. And this is a quick message coming in. Okay, I'll give you two messages here. Either there is a single mom here with a child who has a dream of creating something in the 3D for which she has been saving money. Okay, perhaps, you know, saving this money so that you can create this, whatever you want to in the 3D. I'm also getting another message because you have been so uni-focused on your child and on this particular dream that you've also kept your heart closed and you've been closed off. You know, it's like you're just not opening your heart because, you know, you're holding that money close to your heart. Now, is there love? Yeah. Do you have the money? Yes, Libras, but you're just, somebody has been saving up for something. I do not know what. Comment below. Let me know, please. Now. There is the death card here. Now, the Empress is Taurus. The Page of Cups is Pisces. It's a Scorpio. Dealing with a Scorpio. You're bringing something to a close. I do not know whether you are bringing your, like it says, keep your dream alive. I hope you're not bringing an end to your dream. But I think you're not. And I'll tell you why. Because I have the strength card here too. 
I think you're overcoming your fears. You're bringing an end to staying scared. You're releasing this, this big part of you, which is scared to move ahead and create because you are the Empress, Libras. You have that capacity. And this is a Scorpio card. This is Pluto and Scorpio. This is a great change, endings and transformations. What are you bringing to an end? Are you bringing this to an end where, you know, have you been living a life where you have just been saving, saving, and have you been living in a scarcity mindset where you've convinced yourself, even though you're the empress, you do not see yourself like that. You see yourself as somebody who may not be able to manifest their dream. And have you kept your heart closed off because there is nothing here of love. And I think if I read this card differently, there's somebody around you who's crushing on you. I feel this. Okay, perhaps they're going to come in with this little love offer. But you've kept your heart closed. Somebody here is just closed off. Are you changing that? Are you bringing an end to that? Because see, when the Scorpio card shows up, and there's a card of Scorpio, it's the eighth house. And that is the house of deep sexual connections. And again, when the Pisces card comes out, which is a page, which is somebody crushing on you, it's also the 12th house, is the house of uh, hidden things, hidden secretive affairs too. Have you been holding back information about something that you've been doing in secret? Libras, can you comment below and let me know? Is it because the person is younger to you? Just putting, 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 Putting this out there, hell, I must be hungry. Gosh. Okay. So you're changing something up. I think you are overcoming your fears because when I see this card here, the strength, you know, you have such beautiful major arcanas. You have the Empress, which is Taurus. This is Leo. This is Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo. You are gaining the strength. You're overcoming some fears and you're changing yourself here. Yeah? You're bringing an end. You're transforming the way you've vibrated all your life. I think you've, you've vibrated Libras from scarcity mindset where you've convinced yourself that you're not good enough for love and you have to keep you know you're not you've been scared to manifest anything in your life because you feel you're not capable of doing that keep your dreams alive libra whether it's for love whether it's to have a loving family whether it's for romance or whether it's for business keep your dream alive you are assured success Okay, all you need to do, make a decision. Now, you are going to overcome your fears. I know this. I love this card. This is a card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo here. This is, you've been holding back. I don't know why I feel that somebody here has been holding back, um, controlling themselves, you know, being very patient. Have you been controlling back? Have you been controlling back? Have you been controlling yourself from letting go or letting loose? You know, I think, and I think it's your heart. I think that. Because you have a child and you feel, you know, it's not the right thing for you to do. I'm feeling somebody has been sacrificing something. Again, the Pisces card. Pisces is a card of sacrifice. Now you've been holding back and controlling yourself. You've been very, very patient. Now this is your inner strength, huh? Libra, you're showing up. You know, the strength and the empress. Do you see how beautifully you're showing up here? This is a uh, mistress of manifestations. Wow, that's what my channel is called. And this is somebody who has such grace, poise, and strength. I mean, when these two come together, it's magic. Yeah. I don't think such people exist. <laughs> now I know they do. This is somebody who has so much of courage, compassion, and power. Have you lived in fear of something? I'm getting this, 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 you know, when I see this, keep your, keep your dreams alive. Have you lived in fear that if you do something, you're going to lose something? There's been some fear here. You're making friends with that fear. You are pulling up those socks and you're saying, you know what? No more. I'm going to change the way I vibrate and I'm going to change. I'm going to bring a depth to the old me. I'm going to give birth to what I really am. It's a rebirth for you. You are, you know, reinventing yourself. I feel this. And this is a card of somebody who's been so patient. You are, you are calmly handling something. You're calmly handling your fears. 
you're making friends. You know, this woman, as you can see, this beautiful, gorgeous, delicate woman is standing next to this lion as if it's her friend. And this lion is represents all your fears, your lower vibrations, you know, things that keep you stuck. You're making friends with that. You're not scared of it anymore. I think you're changing yourself. This is, I'm talking to somebody who's transforming themselves. And this is a card of death and transformation on steroids. And there's somebody here who's making friends with what has scared her all her life. And I think that she's been holding back. And this is a card of that. And you've been so patient, so patient. Kudos to you. I wonder what this three of wands could be and what this four of cups could be for you, Libras. I'll go to the four of cups before. Have you been bored in your life? I feel I'm talking to somebody who though has had the potential to create magnificence in her life, has just held back and been very patient. Are you, are you holding back because of your child? Or are you holding back because you're scared to love? I don't know. I don't know. Please comment below. Let me know what's going on. Because I'm feeling there's somebody who's holding back. Somebody who's holding back, holding back, controlling. They have that. They have the power to succeed and they have the power, they have the ability to love. You're the empress. You're the, you're the quintessential meaning of the empress is maternal loving. And not just, not just the motherly Roma, uh, not just a motherly love. It's about even the sex and the passion. You have it. Why have you been holding back here? Yeah? And for me, this is a card, you know, but I see this card. This is somebody who, is I don't know what you're bored. Are you bored in your life? Or are you obsessing about some breakup? I don't know why I feel that you have given up on a dream. What is this dream for you, Libras? Is it about having a family? Is it about having a couple, being a couple? You know, is it romance or is it business? I don't know why I feel it's love. You've given up on love, yeah. And you've you've convinced yourself that there is no point to open your heart anymore. Do you, you feel that? You're just like, I'm closed off. I'm not putting any effort. There's been some heartbreak because this person has had some kind of a breakup. Are you, are you not able to get over somebody? Is that the reason why you're closing yourself off? And you know, you're not keeping your dream alive. You, you have the capacity to love. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I feel there's somebody here who has given up on some dream. I don't know, woman knows is itching. And you are in a state of depression today. You are absorbed with what you've lost. You feel like somebody has rejected you. But even the universe is giving you something in the back and you're rejecting that too. Is somebody here stuck in a funk? Has there been some huge heartbreak in your life? And you have decided to just give up. Come on now, Libras. You can't do that. Somebody here is in that, in that energy of, a, of some kind of a grief or a loss. And they're not able to focus on anything in their lives. And I think the easiest thing for you to do is to just close yourself off, not open your heart. But I feel there is somebody around you who's coming in with this little offer of love, you know, and the divine is trying to gain your attention. Look at this. They're trying to say, hey, look up, at least look up. You're not doing that. You're so absorbed with this thing that has happened. You know, perhaps this death card is a painful ending of a situation, which has made you get into this energy. Have you lost the love of your life? I don't know. The person you thought was the one for you. Has there been a painful ending? And you live in fear that there's nobody else. And you feel like you can't get over this heartbreak. You feel rejected. You feel that they rejected you. But you're making friends with that fear. You're making friends with that fear, with that lower vibration. And there is somebody crushing around you, but I think you're not letting them come in. You are extremely closed off. Keep your dreams alive, yeah, Libra. Keep your dreams alive, yeah. Make a decision. Your success is 
assured. Now, see this. I want you to focus on this card one more time. You are not able to get over a heartbreak. You feel that somebody has rejected you and hence you are rejecting everything that is coming your way. But there is somebody who is offering this cup to you. And this is from the divine. This is, the, this is happening in divine time. If this person is younger to you. And that could be the reason why you're ignoring them. But they're there. The universe is trying to make you look up. I hope you do. Now, three of wands. This is somebody uniform who's almost turned their back on something. I feel you've given up on love. I'm talking to some somebody here who's given up on love. Now, this is someone who has high expectations. Or was this in the past where you had high expectations? Are you walking away, Libra, from a relationship which was your dream? Are you walking away because you feel rejected? I'll give you another message. You feel like somebody was holding back all this while. And while you were showing up as an empress and giving all you could with every fiber of your being, there was no reciprocity. They were holding back. And is that the reason why you're closing off and putting an end to this dream? Now, you could be a, a, a mother and you could have a child. But this relationship is very important to you. You're not able to get over this ending. There has been some kind of a heartbreak here, some ending of a situation. Comment below, Libras. Let me know. I'm getting this message very strongly. And now you were expecting, you know, positive news. You were waiting for results on your project begun. And this is wands. This is passion. You put a lot of passion into this relationship and you're the empress. I can just imagine. You were the perfect mom, the perfect wife, the perfect lover. The perfect business partner. You did everything, but it didn't work out. I think somebody rejected you or you felt that the person was not vulnerable. See, I think you feel rejected, Libras. I'm getting this message, getting this message. Now the universe here is asking you to make a choice. And I know this is a three of wands, but I feel you've not turned your back. You've been waiting for those ships to come in. But when I see this card, you know, I, I feel that somebody is just waiting. Somebody's just kept you waiting. You can see that the ships are there, but they're just not coming in. Make a decision, Libras. Make a decision. I don't know what this clarity. Maybe there is some news that is coming in quickly, some good news, which is going to be your ace of swords. I love this. This is clarity. This is like, you know, the universe, I always believe that this is like the universe putting your, your shahasara back in order, your crown, your crown. Perhaps you had a lot of sleepless nights over this. It's taken you a long time to get over your fears, but you've done it, yeah. Make a decision, Libras. This heartbreak, you need to get out of this funk. Somebody here could be depressed. It's okay. It's fine. Clarity is coming for you. And the clarity is going to come when you understand that what has been holding you back, okay, has not allowed you to blossom. Just because somebody has rejected you, that's what you believe, you've held back. No, it's time to unleash the Empress. Let her loose. Getting clarity. I love this card. You're moving away peacefully. It's like somebody packing, you know, all the, the suitcase of hurt and pain. You know, each sword could be something that somebody did to you. I don't know who did what. There has been some betrayal or an ending here. I feel this. But you're making a decision. Yeah, you're keeping your dreams alive. Made friends with what scared you. You're bringing the cycle to a big close. You know, this is Jupiter coming in the world. You are closing up a big cycle in your life and you're moving away to calmer waters peacefully. And you know, this moon in the background in this card always makes me feel that there's been some kind of a deception or a secret that you found out and you've realized you were not the problem. And once you got that clarity, it was easy for you to make a decision to move away to serenity, calmness. It's like you packed your, all the things that have hurt you and, you know, where you felt rejected or not loved. And you said, you know what? 
that's all mine and I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to leave. I feel this. Somebody is taking a, a good, you know, well thought out decision and you are all about balance. Okay. You are somebody who loves justice. You're justice loving. You love balance. And this, this relationship has been all about holding back. Somebody has been holding back not giving you. And I think you've been the empress. You've just been giving, giving, and giving. Tired. They've just kept you waiting. And there is somebody who feels rejected. I feel this very strongly, that somebody here is feeling rejected. You're leaving a big karmic cycle behind. You're completing this whole cycle. And when I say cycle, you know, and karma comes in, it's something that you've been going round and round in. And like as an empress, you don't just give up. You have been persistent at it. You've accomplished it. And you've said, you know what? I've done what I could. But this is not helping me grow. I'm dealing with somebody who's not going to be vulnerable with me. You want to leave this cycle behind, this whole karmic cycle. You want to start a new one. I like this card for you. This is a card of closing up a big chapter in your life. And I think the clarity you need is coming in for you to help you make a decision. And trust me, the minute you make that decision, Libras, to leave something karmic, and karmic is not bad. Karmic is just some, is, is look, we all invite different relationships in our life. Some are a lesson, some are a blessing. The trick is to know what is what. Perhaps it took you some time, and while you were figuring it out, you lost yourself because you kept giving and giving and giving. Somebody who did not want to give back. And for you, when there is no justice and there is no equal give and take, it doesn't work as it should. It doesn't work. Libras, I'm going to go ahead and take some cards from my situation's tarot deck, okay? I don't know. I feel this sense of rejection here. Somebody's feeling rejected. Like, you know, somebody rejected them. I don't know why. There's somebody around you who wants to give you a small love offer, but I think you're not allowing them. You're being closed off. I don't know. I feel this. Perhaps because there's an age difference, but there's somebody crushing on you, Libras. They're around you. Okay. Let me see what, I, what more messages I can get for you. Okay, Libras? For my Libras. My Libras. My, whoops. Okay, for my Libras. Okay. Your cards are just, okay. <clears throat> you know, I have two cards of divine timing. And I want you to know that when this, this card comes out for me, it is about the universe, God, whoever you believe in. Libras, it could be your, you know, your past on loved ones, your ancestors, anybody, the tree outside. If you believe in that, that's fine with me too. It's some higher power that you believe it could be your higher self who is coming in divine timing to make you realize something. It's all happening in divine timing. You leaving a situation and what is coming to you is all orchestrated. There is sweet serendipity at play in your life. Okay. Let me see what the other cards are. They've been showing you signs. Signs. What do I mean by signs? You know, when you see repeating numbers, when you keep hearing a song again, pay attention. That's how, you know, people from the other realms, but I'm saying people because I know they're there. They don't have a form like us. They don't have a throat or a voice. And hence, they, they communicate with us via other things like songs, you listen to a song and then you think back, what was the thought you thought at that time? When you see repeating numbers, remember what you just spoke. That's the message. They're trying to guide you. Make your, build your own communication system with them because they've been trying to communicate with you. And I feel they've seen you feel reached. Somebody has been rejecting you. I can't shake this message, Libras. You have felt rejected by someone with whom you have been an empress. You have given them 
I don't even can't even explain it in words. And they have done this with you, held back. They have not given you love. Perhaps they've also been misers with money. You've been an empress with them, eh? Perhaps you, you're the one who's bought them gifts and I don't know what else. You're tired. You're tired of that. The universe has seen you feel rejected and they've been trying to communicate with you by giving you signs. Look, I don't know what you found out, but I'll just show you some things, okay? You've just stayed there for embarrassed appearances. I do not know I'm talking to a mom and a child, perhaps because you had a child with them, you just decided to stay there and, you know, what's that, you know, rough it out. You can't, you can't. If, uh, this is somebody who's painted a smile on their face. You have been depressed. And you've kept up appearances for society, maybe for your child. What has come to light? You know, this, this card, this, it's like the light coming on, the ace of swords, clarity, because swords are your thoughts, information, communication, and something has come in. Awareness, finding out, coming to light. Journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. I do not know if you found something on their laptop. Because, you know, today we very rarely use a typewriter. I've never used one, but I don't know if you all do. Okay. But where, where, where you know, it's usually my laptop where I write down or I mail my mails and stuff. I'm sure you do it too. Did you find something out there? And I think what you found out was some kind of a lust, lusty, because there is nothing here. Okay. Which I don't even know what this individual is just showing up as a miser. And I think this miser is in love and in money. This is their energy. They've given you nothing. And you've just given, given, given. Okay. That you found out, I think, some messages of some kind of some sex-based crap going on. I feel this. Perhaps via their mails or, you know, their phone. I don't know. Some place where they type messages. It can be a phone, it can be mail. You figure it out. On any social media platform where people send messages to each other, you found out, and they were about this. Lust and sex. You know, this card, racing and avoiding. This card of rejection, this whole reading screams somebody being rejected. Because I think you've tried to talk to them and they've been avoiding you. Oh, terrible. You have felt rejected because somebody is just avoiding you. You have tried to speak to them. And as an empress, you have must have spoken with such grace. And I think this was your fear that you're going to lose this person. I feel this. You know, you could be dealing with a Leo here. I think you've had this fear of losing a, a person. And perhaps that person was your wish fulfillment, your dream, you know. Keep your dream alive. That was your dream that this was your, this was it for you. You have felt rejected and they have been avoiding you. I'll give you two messages here. Either they have been avoiding giving you a commitment or they just avoid you. I feel this relationship has got no stability. You know, this card here, this assurance, this is what you wanted from them. And they have been avoiding giving you that. You wanted this, 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 you know, it's like the energy of where you can plant and grow stuff. That's what the emphasis is about. She has a potential to not just create things like, you know, a good business or jewelry. She creates a human being. They say she's three months pregnant. And in six months, she can give birth to a live person. So you have wanted to have this assurance from them that, you know, we are a couple or we're going to create or, you know, we're going to move ahead and, you know, upgrade our relationship. And they've been racing and avoiding they have not been giving you a commitment and you felt rejected. Rejected. I feel a strong energy of somebody feeling rejected here. And you have then gone on and found out that they have been indulging in some kind of sex-based chat or crap. And this has come to light. This has come to light. The next two cards, I'll read them two ways for you. You believe that this person, okay, was your soulmate. And hence, you were obsessed at K. 
keeping this relationship alive. You thought that you have this magnetic pull towards them. But the sad thing is, whenever you tried to get some kind of an assurance or a commitment from them, they were racing and avoiding you. And this is how you felt, rejected. And they were holding back all this while, while you were just giving, giving, and giving. This is what you believe them to be. I'll read this card the second way. You bringing this relationship to an end, transforming yourself, making friends with this fear of losing this person, closing out this huge karmic cycle that they kept you stuck in, where you were the one who was pursuing them and they refused to give you any commitment. I think you've been chasing this person. You're moving away. You're making a decision. The assurance is coming in from the universe. <clears throat> so, Nate, similar friendship, romantic partner, magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. You're calling in your soulmate. This individual, according to me, was only coming at you with an amateur love offer. You are the empress, and if that's the page of cups, this is, this is not a match. You are empress energy. They are page. They just have a crush on you. They do not want anything stable. And hence, they were racing and avoiding you. You felt rejected in this relationship and you felt they refused to be vulnerable with you. But you're moving away and bringing this cycle to a close and your fear of losing this person, you overcame that, is bringing in your real soulmate. And there's going to be somebody with whom you have a magnetic, unexplicable pull. You can't explain this. It's going to be off the charts, whatever is coming in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to drop a few clip book. Kippers on this. Let me take my kipper deck, okay? Hi, kipper. Somebody here feels hella rejected. Hi, kipper. Hi, kipper. Can you give me some cards for my Libra, please, kipper? Let's see what I got. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. This is you and somebody. You thought this was your soulmate. I know this. You're showing up as a couple. Okay. You're showing up as a couple. I don't know if, 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 like, because see, the empress is here. I think you were really in love with them. They just have a crush on you. I feel this. This person just has a crush on you. Uh, it was nothing more. It was nothing more. Now, this relationship felt like money and labor. That's not how love is supposed to mean. Yeah, you were a couple. You guys match each other perfectly. Or so that's what you thought. And I think this, this person is pretty well put together too. But the problem is that their love offer is immature. They, I think they're just crushing on you, Libras. Perhaps, you know, you misunderstood them. I do not know because this was an uphill task for you. And I feel this relationship felt heavy, heavy. It was not light. It wasn't easy. It was like, uh, I don't know. It, you felt you, you were constantly struggling to, you know, to, what can I say, to uh, put your things across. And see, this occupation it's Aries, okay? I think we're dealing with an Aries. There's somebody who's hardworking. Like, I feel you put in a lot of effort into this. Somebody's put in a lot of effort, diligence in this relationship. And I think you were also preoccupied with this. More than them. It felt heavy. It felt like toil and labor. And you were preoccupied. They were not. They were not. Now, if this is a marriage, there is something going on in the tribunal, which is you know, for me, this is your card, justice. I'll read this card too. If you are going towards, if you are married, you could be going towards legalities or illegal separation. And 
doesn't matter if you're married or not. If you're moving away from this, justice is coming for you. Justice is coming for you, Libras. You found out some message of concern. I don't know what, like I said, something has come to light. And then this typewriter comes, you know. This is again a message card. You can see she's reading something. You read something, either in the journal, their mails, or something that they have written to somebody. You found out. False person. You know, when this Pisces card comes out, this one, there's this immature love offer. They're showing up somebody very immature. You know, and Pisces is somebody who can't make up their mind. And perhaps they like to keep their options open because they're younger to you. I don't know that. But I'm just putting this out there. Did they, this was, you were, they, for them, it was just fun, I think, and a crush. Because they kept coming with the small offer and you were there like an empress. Perhaps it scared them, Libras, your intensity. I don't know. Comment below, let me know. You found out about some courtship here. I don't know if you found out that they were courting other people online. Perhaps you did. Because this is about, you know, meetings, social life, um, you know, getting together, parties and events. Did you find out something? Something, you, you found something out and you're taking, you're moving away, voyage. You're moving away. You found something out that was, I don't know if it was sex-based or lust-based. You're moving. You're moving away from the situation. Because I think you can't deal with this, this rejection. You feel rejected by someone. This is moving away, taking a trip. You're leaving something behind, you know, a situation behind. And you're gaining the momentum to go ahead. I feel this. I feel this. Somebody who just wants to move, you know, move on, like enough. And you made your decision. You've made your decision. I want to show you this card. This is, look at this. Money, literally money. You know, it's almost like the universe is going to shower you with money. I think being here with this individual, you have not allowed the empress that you're showing up as to shine. This is unexpected rewards. It's like the universe is going to reward you. And I know this. There is an assurance of a reward here. I don't know if this is love or this could literally just mean money. But I feel that this is going to be a change in your, um, in your flow of abundance, whether this is for love. Look, I'll read this two ways. If you are moving away from this situation, if it is business, you're going to get unexpected income because as an empress, you have the power to create. Okay. And if this is love, you're going to, this is going to be that, that, that unexpected soulmate. You're going to be attracted to somebody like, my God, you never expected this. But the universe just wanted you to make a decision to move away from something. I'll go back to the first three cards I took for you from Nature's Whispers. Keep your dreams alive. This could be for love. This could be for work. You have almost decided, you had almost decided to put an end to ever opening your heart again or falling in love because you felt rejected by someone. Make a decision to make friends with that fear, to move away, to take a step, to create distance, assurance of love, a soulmate, and money, both. And you can see how, how this tree is rooted here. Nothing can shake it. Okay. Libras, I'm going to take some angel and crystal. I'm going to take one card for you from this deck to see if I can give you any additional messages. My Libras, please. Thank you. Own your divine power. You're an empress, Libra. You're an empress. You're dealing with a page. Own your divine power. Make friends with your fear. You did. You will. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. You have been bending backwards to please somebody. Being an empress where they're coming at you as a page. 
You've been giving and giving and giving, and you are about balance. You know this is imbalance, and you feel rejected because they do not give you damn sh- nothing in return. Own your power, okay? Replace codependent, people-pleasing attitudes with assertiveness. Love it. Garnet, purification and detoxification. I think you've been cohabiting with somebody who is really, really vibrating low. They're showing up as a page too. And they're, they're probably, somebody who keeps their options open. I feel this. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. This person, perhaps, you know, whatever you found out, you know, this realization coming to light, you perhaps felt that they're attaching themselves. Yeah, attaching, that's what I said, to a lot of people, you know, whether online and hookups and crap. Please, please detoxify yourself you know we clean our physical space i want you to cleanse your body too that is a space where your soul lives that's the home of your soul please spiritually cleanse yourself sanitize yourself internally how can you do that positive affirmations self-love you can go on a fast intermittent fasting okay praying whoever you believe in i don't care do it Recite mantras, go to YouTube, find some beautiful mantras to recite. Anything to purify with you can sound is the fastest way you can create a vibration. Because it produces, you know, it vibrates, it produces a sound and there's a frequency. You sound therapy to cleanse yourself internally and externally. Because you've been dealing with somebody, okay, who I feel has been dealing with a lot of other people. And I, I don't know if you didn't know that, but you found out. Hence this card, this heartbreak and rejection, but it's okay. Cleanse your space internally and externally, Libras. And trust me, the universe is assuring you success in love and money, okay? Bring back that balance in your life. The power is with you, Libras. So with this, I'm going to close, Libras. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Like, subscribe, share this video if you can. And I cannot wait to come back again to another reading for you, my darlings. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you and namaste.